Well, on today's case, Ms. Thompson says she's giving Mr. Williams a choice to either marry her or reimburse her for the money spent in the relationship. Court is now in session. All righty. Hello, Ms. Thompson and Mr. Williams. I do not feel like being here today, so I need y'all to keep it lightly and keep it quietly, okay? Thank you. So, looking at this information in front of me, Ms. Thompson, you're basically begging your husband for a ring because y'all been together for five years. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, okay. And Mr. Williams, you're here because Ms. Thompson treats you like shit. And you said that in order for you to marry her, she gotta stop acting like an ass? Yes, Your Honor. What's tea, Ms. Thompson? Speak your piece. Your Honor, we have been together for five years. He says he wants to have a baby and have a family. So he knows that I want to be married before we have a baby. He says he wants a baby, but every time we go to have sex, he wants to either use protection or he changes the subject. Obviously, his words not lining up with his actions. So, Mr. Williams, why you don't want to have no babies? I'm having second thoughts because over time, I've been seeing, like, her behavior and her personality traits are coming out. So she had flaws. I'm assuming you do, too. Did you even plan on marrying her? Ever? Your Honor, I have every intention on marrying her, but I'm going to do it on my time. Understood. All righty. Now, let's run it back to the beginning. So... He's Ms. been Thompson. misleading me. Hold He's up, Miss Ma'am. Hold up! You don't speak when the mother's talking. Now you can talk. We went to a ring store. Let's talk about the ring store, Earl Bell. We went to a it. ring store. And he has the clerk put the ring to the side. She tells her, he's gonna propose to me very soon. When did this all happen? A year and a half ago. Ooh, Still no ring. So he's playing games. Mr. Williams, what happened? Did you lose the spark after you saw the price of the ring? Tell me what's up. She's making me feel like an outsider. She hasn't opened up to me as far as her family. For example, she has three adult children. I've only met one of them. So her daughter was actually coming in town. So when it's time for her daughter to come, she's like, oh, I don't think this is a good time. And as a matter of fact, I think you should go stay with somebody else. Actually, I asked you to stay on the couch. Ms. Thompson, let him finish what he has to say. Why do I have to stay on the couch if I'm paying bills in my own you house, You said no, you didn't have to leave the house. Hey, we is not doing the back and forth. Ms. Thompson, why you don't want him to meet your kids? As a matter of fact, how old is the child? She's 20. Oh, shit. So do your kids know that y'all date? Yes, Your Honor. What the hell is going on here? You ashamed of him? I'm not ashamed of the relationship. I'm ashamed of how he manipulates me and oh plays games. Oh, my God, got her. <laughs> ain't, ain't shit funny, because I'm ready to go home. Miss Thompson, why you just don't want him to meet your kids? The ah. lack of a ring. So the ring just putting everything go whole, huh? You want to make sure y'all stamped, even though y'all been together for five years. Your Honor, if I didn't look at her like this is my wife, why am I bringing her around my family? Honestly, Mr. Williams, you should have just reciprocated the same energy. If she wasn't bringing you around the family, you shouldn't have bring her around your family, okay? Now, Ms. Thompson, why you don't want to bring this man around your family? Because they look at me like a joke. Mm. They look at me like a joke because they feel like he's using me. Mm. Now we getting somewhere. Well, he had, has a way of manipulating me into feeling like I have to do something for him. Keep spilling the tea. I didn't tell you to stop talking. She's extremely No, first pregnant. of all, I'm talking. You so talk, you let me talk. You talk, let me, me talk, or rap. Shut the fuck up in this courtroom! Miss Thompson, speak your piece. Or if I decided he wanted to have a birthday party. Next thing I know, $2,800 later, I have paid for the entire party, including designer shoes and a belt that he wanted specifically. I never get my funds back, and I just ended up letting it go because I did not want the headache of arguing. Mr. Williams, is it true that she gave you a stack? Yes, because in our relationship, when it's her birthday or when it's time when for When it was my birthday or about... Anything... For what I'm hearing, Mr. Williams, you was like, it's my birthday and I need my girl to spend a bag on me. Period. And heavy on the knee. Because you didn't want it. You needed that money to be spent on you because you spent that money on her. Is that right? And it was my birthday. I'm expecting that, like I do for her, that she's going to take care of it for me. Understood. I don't think she expected to spend that much money. But fast forward. So, Ms. Thompson, you have some complaints here about being manipulated out of some funds. We already talked about the birthday incident. What else? Yes, Your Honor. Orville had been walking around the house for weeks. His mouth was hurting him bad. He asked me to find him a dentist, which I did. And you had to pay the bill? How much was it? $800. He 
left his wallet at home, doesn't have insurance, and I felt manipulated. You knew before you left the house that you didn't have your wallet. Mr. Williams, did you pay her back? Mr. Right, Williams? she got that money back. Mm, you look like you lying. Oh my God. That's not the only time you use me, no, you Irv Al. I'm on all the terms that I'm put her in the damn court. Mr. Williams, right here says you wasted your money on a restaurant date. Explain that. Shafana is always late. I have to pay, put down a partial payment just to secure the reservation. We're late. They took, they took our table away. So that was another time that I have been pouring money into you and wasting the money. At this point, y'all need to date somebody that y'all financially compatible with because this don't make no damn sense. Y'all just complaining about money back to back. It's a relationship. I thought y'all supposed to be helping one another out. You know, you take somebody out on a date because you just want to. What's tea? What's going on? Why are you so mad? It's, ugh, child, y'all confusing me. It's no secret she's the breadwinner in this relationship, Your Honor, but she always throws that in my face. No, that's your turn. She, and another time, I was buying a car. I didn't have enough money for the down payment. At the time, we were sharing cars. I needed a car. She like, I'm gonna give you the money. I'm, she's constantly making me feel like I'm a child and making me feel less of a man. If you strongly feel that way, then why don't you man the fuck up? You sounding like a pussy. Are you the woman in a relationship? Or are you the man? Or should I say, are you a girl? Because you acting like a little girl. All right, so this is what I gather when you date a user. They always let you pick up the check. You always have to come to their rescue. They always ask for favors. You start to resent them. Your emotional needs are never considered, let alone met. They never make you feel appreciated. Your friends slash family have concerns about the relationship. They are selectively nice to you. I said selectively very long, but I can't even say that word properly, but you know what I'm saying. They borrow money from you. They are actually in charge and you're the dumbass. You're the dumbass. I'm looking at you, Ms. Thompson, but it's okay though, because we all been in this situation. I think so, because I know I have, but you already gave this man five years of your life. Don't let it turn into 10. You I wanna have the five years with him. I don't wanna start all over again. That's too much. Ryan, oh, hell no. You was tweaked out. All right, you either marry me or you reimburse me. It's that simple. I have the ring already. All you gotta do is get on your knees and propose. Mr. Bu Mr. Williams, at least you don't gotta pay for a ring. Just get on one knee and propose to her desperate ass. I'm gonna get a ring. I'm gonna propose Here, to her when the time one. is right. Take this one. Listen, stand the fuck up. We're not going to ask you to watch your language again, Tolly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Stop acting like a toddler and get a man on your level, Miss Thompson. It's not fair. You making yourself look like a fool. Honor, no, honor. I have, one, I have one more thing to say and I did not want to bring this up. What the hell is it now? Cause y'all wasting my time. I went through her phone and she has her tubes tied. Damn. You've been leading me on this entire time. But they can be reversed. It's $10,000. Okay. I already have the doctor on speed okay. dial. What's up? You just throwing money out here like it's water. Throw it on me, huh? Throw it. Anyways, back to the topic. So how long your tubes been tied? 20 years ago. What the hell? <laughs> oh my God. So why the hell was you complaining that he's wearing a condom if you can't even have kids? You know what? Wasting my damn time. To end this whole segment, we have a bum who has a mind of a child but wants a girlfriend to be his mother. Then we have a lonely sugar mama who wants a man that has a mind of a puppy to take care of her. That don't even make sense. I don't even know what the hell I just said. I don't even know what I said makes sense. But y'all wasting my time and I'm gonna press charges if y'all don't get the fuck out of my courtroom. Bye. Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a like chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place